Did you know there's a country in the Middle East that holds some of the most fascinating and well-preserved secrets of history? Jordan is a place of extraordinary contrasts where the past and present meet in surprising ways. Imagine exploring a desert that looks like another planet, walking through the ruins of a lost city and floating in the waters of the lowest point on Earth. But Jordan is much more than that. How can such a small country maintain peace surrounded by neighbors in conflict? And what about its women who fight for education and careers before marriage, for going teenage, dating in search of a better future? Get ready to discover the hidden gems of Wadi Rum, where science fiction movies come to life. We will unveil the mysteries of the lost city of Petra, one of the seven wonders of the modern world. And the Jordan River? You will be amazed at the possible site of Jesus Christ's baptism. Join us on this journey through one of the most incredible and enigmatic destinations in the world. What Jordan has to offer goes far beyond what you can imagine. Stay with us and together we will uncover the secrets of this fascinating country. Number 15, Jordan is a relatively small country with just over 34,000 square miles. Despite being surrounded by complicated neighbors, it is widely recognized for its ability to maintain relative peace amid regions often marked by conflict. To the north, Jordan borders Syria, a suffering neighbor that has been facing a civil war for 13 years against the government of Bashar al-Assad. To the northeast lies Iraq, another neighbor with a complicated history, but with whom Jordan manages to maintain good relations. To the east and south, Saudi Arabia is present with a relationship of mutual respect and a lot of sand. To the west, we find Israel and Palestine, West Bank, a region with much history and endless conflicts where Jordan manages to maintain a balance. And as a bonus, Jordan has a small coastline to the south on the Gulf of Aqaba, where you can take a refreshing dip in the Red Sea. It is worth noting the country's concern in keeping its armed forces always modern and well-structured. The Jordanian armed forces are recognized as one of the most prepared in the Middle East. Equipped with modern weaponry and supported by rigorous training, they stand out for their strategic intelligence. Continuous investments in defense ensure constant modernization, allowing Jordan to maintain a robust position in the region. 14. Jordan is a true natural and architectural gem hidden in the Middle East. With more than 100,000 archaeological and religious sites, the country also showcases surreal natural beauty. The Valley of the Moon, also known as Wadi Rum, is a spectacular desert region famous for its impressive landscapes. With vast expanses of red sand, huge sandstone rock formations, deep canyons, and natural arches. The area is so unique that it looks like a setting from another planet, making it a popular filming location for science fiction movies, such as the 2015 film The Martian, directed by Ridley Scott and starring Matt Damon. Wadi Rum was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2011. The site offers tourists hiking and climbing, with popular trails leading to the tops of Jabal Rum and Jabal Madami Mountains. In addition, you can go on 4x4 safaris, which usually take visitors to some of the valley's most popular attractions, such as Lawrence's Spring and Kazali Canyon. 13. With evidence of civilizations dating back thousands of years, Jordan is a true paradise for archaeology lovers. Just like Peru and Latin America, Jordan is the archaeological epicenter in Asia, with sites revealing the secrets of ancient times. The lost city of Petra, one of the seven wonders of the world, was built in the middle of the desert and was buried under the sand for centuries. It is an impressive complex of temples, tombs, and houses carved into the rock by the Nabataean kingdom more than 2,000 years ago. The Nabataeans, a nomadic Arab tribe, were masters of hydraulic engineering and used their skills to create a complex system of water channels and cisterns, allowing them to thrive in this arid region. They also had great talent for architecture, as evidenced by the intricate carvings and structures scattered throughout the city. Petra became the capital of the Nabataeans, was conquered by the Romans, and eventually abandoned, covered by the desert sand, and inhabited only by Bedouin tribes. In the early 19th century, it was rediscovered by a Westerner in a story worthy of Indiana Jones. In 1812, Swiss Johann Ludwig Burckhardt, posing as an Arab, revealed the lost city of Petra to the world. To reach the lost city, one must traverse a narrow gorge called the Sikh, no more than 10 feet wide. It winds its way to the treasury of Petra, or al Khazne, the city's most iconic building, believed to have been a temple or the royal tomb of the Nabataean king Areta Sephor. But this is just one of the city's structures. There are also the amphitheater, other royal tombs, houses, and other temples and structures carved into the rock. Despite being a stunning city, it is estimated that only 15% of it has been explored. 
with the rest still buried. In Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade from 1989, Jones and his father crossed Jordan in search of the Holy Grail and passed through Petra. 12. The Bedouins are a group of people who have lived throughout the country of Jordan for thousands of years. Many of them still live as nomads, moving from one camp to another with their goat herds. However, other Bedouins have moved to small villages. They are known for their rich culture and traditions, their hospitality, and their skills in dealing with desert life. The Bedouins have their own language and culture and take pride in maintaining their way of life despite the increasing modernization of the country. Many visitors take the opportunity to interact with the Bedouins and learn from their way of life and culture. 11. The Dead Sea, one of Jordan's fantastic attractions, also extends into Israel and the West Bank. Despite its name, it is actually an Ender Hike Lake, not connected to the sea, with a salinity about 10 times higher than that of seawater, containing 31.5% salt. Its shores are about 430 meters below sea level, making it the lowest point on Earth's surface. The high salinity provides such high density that it is almost impossible to sink. You can even read a newspaper while floating. Furthermore, the mineral-rich mud of the Dead Sea is famous for its therapeutic properties for the skin and joints and is used in various resorts for treatments. Visiting the Dead Sea is a spectacular and unforgettable experience, offering a unique encounter with nature in its most extreme form. 10. The Jordan River, which marks the western border of Jordan with Israel and the West Bank, is considered a sacred site for Christians as it is believed that Jesus Christ was baptized in its waters. This attracts pilgrims from all over the world, making the river an important religious center. The exact location of Jesus' baptism in the Jordan River is a complex and still debated topic among historians and religious scholars. Bethany, located on the eastern bank of the Jordan River, is the traditionally accepted site of the baptism. There, we find various archaeological sites, such as Byzantine churches and mosaics, attesting to the religious significance of the location since the early centuries of Christianity. 9. Camel racing is a traditional event in many Middle Eastern cultures, including Jordan. In the desert of Wadi Rum, these races are particularly popular and attract both locals and tourists. The camel races in Wadi Rum typically involve camels owned by local families or professional camel breeders. The owners often follow the race in their 4x4 vehicles, accompanying and encouraging their camels along the course. And if you think these races are primitive and devoid of technology, know that in some modern competitions, robot jockeys are used instead of human jockeys. These robots are remotely controlled by the owners who follow the race in their cars. This has been a response to concerns about the welfare of the child jockeys who were traditionally used. 8. In Jordan, marriages typically occur around the age of 26. This is because Jordanian families value that men achieve financial stability before marriage, including having a university degree and a good job. For women, the priority is often to complete their education and start a career before marriage. The dating culture in Jordan varies widely. In some families, premarital dating may be disapproved of, while in others, it is more tolerated or even encouraged. Generally, it is common for women to marry as virgins after college with the goal of establishing a new family. See what these young Jordanian women have to say. You guys are not married yet. No, we're too young. Uh, here in Jordan, it is not popular that our familia to get married. 24 to 26 years. 24? Oh, okay. 26. And every, everyone here wants to get married or? Yes, in the future. <laughs> in the future, okay. It's a different apply. Yeah, family, right? Yeah, family. And yeah. And the, uh, the more future. <laughs> yeah. Nice. But like, do you date some guys already or that is not no, very I'm nice? Not <laughs> 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 yeah, it's not nice. I yeah, love it. I love and some people allowed because of, I don't know, tradition, but in our religion, no, it's not allowed. And it's, it's not allowed? No, dating, Okay, dating only us. if you want to get married. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. There are rules. <laughs> it is worth noting that the bride's virginity at marriage is still an important value for many families in Jordan, especially in more conservative and traditional areas. 7. Jerash in northern Jordan is one of the best preserved Greco-Roman cities outside of Italy. Founded in the 4th century BC by Alexander the Great, it became one of the most prosperous cities of the Decapolis. Among its impressive landmarks are the Arch of Hadrian, built in 129 AD, and the Hippodrome, which accommodated up to 15,000 spectators for chariot races. The Oval Forum, an elliptical plaza surrounded by ionic columns, is a notable example of Roman engineering. Jerash also has two Roman theaters, the South Theater and the North Theater, still in use today. The Temple of Artemis, with its massive columns, is dedicated to the city's principal goddess, 
The colonnades, especially Cardo Street, reflect Roman architectural skill. Jarash also has Roman bath complexes, important social centers. Annually, the city hosts a cultural festival with music, dance, and theater, celebrating its rich historical heritage. Six, Amman, the capital of Jordan, is a city of fascinating contrasts, where modern skyscrapers harmoniously coexist with ancient ruins. This vibrant urban center offers a unique combination of history and modernity. At the heart of the city, the Amman Citadel, situated atop a hill, offers stunning panoramic views and a glimpse into the region's rich history, with its ruins dating from different eras. The Roman theater built in the second century AD is another historical gem, still used for cultural events and capable of accommodating up to 6,000 spectators. In addition to its historical treasures, Amman also stands out for its contemporary architecture, with skyscrapers defining the city's skyline. This contrast between the old and the new makes Amman a must-visit destination, reflecting Jordan's rich cultural heritage while embracing modern development. Five, Ajloun Castle in Jordan is an Islamic fortress built in the 12th century by Iz al-Din Usama, a general of Saladin. Located on a hill with panoramic views, the castle served as an important defense against the Crusaders, controlling trade routes and protecting the region. Its towers and robust walls reflect the military engineering of the time. Today, Ajloun is a popular tourist destination, offering visitors the opportunity to explore its passages and appreciate stunning views of the surrounding hills and the Jordan Valley. The fortress is a testament to Jordan's rich military and cultural history. Four, if you are a hiking and trekking enthusiast, you need to check out the Jordan Trail, a long distance hiking route that traverses the country from north to south, passing through stunning landscapes, historical sites, and authentic villages. Covering a total of 404 miles, the Jordan Trail can be completed in 40 days by an experienced hiker, but it can also be divided into smaller sections to suit different fitness levels and interests. The Jordan Trail requires a good level of physical fitness with steep climbs, long distances, and varied terrain, but the effort is well worth it. Three, Jordan is a constitutional parliamentary monarchy, which means that the king is the head of state and plays an important role in the government but also shares power with an elected parliament. Despite being a constitutional monarchy, the King of Jordan retains significant power in practice. He can dissolve the parliament, appoint judges, and veto laws. Abdullah II bin Al Hussein, born January 30th, 1962, is the King of Jordan, having ascended to the throne on February 7th, 1999. He is a member of the Hashemite dynasty, which has been the ruling royal family of Jordan since 1921 and is considered a direct descendant of the 41st generation of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. Two, the French fortress located in Wadi Rum is a historical ruin built in the 19th century during the period of French colonization in the region. Although most information about the French presence in Jordan during this period is limited, this fortress serves as a tangible reminder of colonial influence in the area. This could very well be true, but in fact, this fortress is not a historical structure, but rather an abandoned filming set from a French TV show called Les Forges du Désert. This program, inspired by the popular French game show Fort Boyard, was filmed in the late 1990s and early 2000s. The fortress was constructed to look like an ancient ruin made of concrete and steel with towers and walls. The show aimed to offer physical and mental challenges to contestants and was a significant production, involving about 200 people and a considerable budget. However, it was canceled after a short period due to low ratings. Today, the fortress remains a curious ruin in the desert and is occasionally used as a set for film and television productions. Although located about four miles from the nearest road and access is technically restricted, adventurous tourists sometimes visit the site typically requiring a 4x4 vehicle or a camel for transportation. 1. Wadi Rum is a truly fantastic desert. If you visit Jordan and have the opportunity to see it, know that you can stay in luxury hotels in the middle of the desert. The Wadi Rum Bubble Lux Hotel offers a unique lodging experience that you won't easily find anywhere else in the world. It's a bubble-shaped hotel that offers luxury and a close connection with nature. The bubbles are made of durable and transparent plastic, with ceilings that allow for stargazing at night. They feature a king-size bed, private bathroom, air conditioning, and a private deck with outdoor furniture. The hotel's restaurant serves traditional Arabic cuisine prepared with fresh local ingredients, and you can also enjoy a romantic dinner under the stars with views of the desert. And so we come to the end of our journey through the fascinating Jordan. 
We hope this video has inspired you to learn more about this incredible destination and perhaps plan your own adventure in these enchanting lands. Thank you for joining us on this trip. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time.